Once you've signed into CI Keys, you have the ability to install multiple different web applications on any of the domains that you've created, the most popular being WordPress. To install WordPress, go ahead and click the WordPress icon underneath where it says Featured Applications on your cPanel, and you'll be taken to the Installatron WordPress page where you can get an overview of what WordPress is, see what's new in some of the new versions, as well as even view a live demo. Go ahead and click Install this application. This will start the installation process and get it set up on your domain of your choosing. This first field will display the domain in which we are going to install WordPress on. If you've set up or created any subdomains within your CI Keys account, those subdomains will appear here. But right now, anacapa.cikeys.com is the only domain that I have, so I'm going to keep that selected. I'm going to leave the directory field blank because we want WordPress to be installed on the root of this domain name, which means that when people go to anacapa.cikeys.com, they will go directly into my WordPress site that I am installing. Now I'm going to scroll down, ignore the version because it is already set to default to the newest version. You can scroll down to the settings. Here you have the option of changing the administrator username and password if you choose. If you don't, you don't need to worry because you will access this site directly through cikeys.com and you won't actually be asked for this username and password. It's going to pass through your MyCI credentials. So I'm going to leave those two alone. The one thing I am going to change here is the website title. By default, it's set to my blog, but I'm going to give it something a little different, such as my super interesting blog, because it dresses it up a little bit better than just having it called my blog. Next, you have the website tagline, which you can go ahead and leave. Both of these settings can be changed later on. Some themes support the tagline, other ones don't. Um, for this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and skip it. Under course or project, is where you're going to choose how you are using this WordPress install. If you're using it for an ePortfolio or if you're using it for a class that has been listed here, you can go ahead and select them. Or if you're using it for something else that isn't listed in here, you can go ahead and leave it as uncategorized. But I'm going to choose ePortfolio for mine. And under status, you'll go ahead and choose whether you're a faculty, student, or staff. Now we're going to go ahead and click install down at the bottom. You'll see this processing notification bar, and then you'll see the installing progress bar. And now that this is done, I can see that I have my super interesting misspelled blog and three separate links. The top link here is a link that will take you directly to your site that you went ahead and created, which right now by default will look like this. The second link that says your domain slash WP admin is the link that you will click to be taken into the dashboard in which you will actually go ahead and create content and customize your site. And now you have a working install of WordPress in your CI keys.